I didn't make it. <laughs> Just in. My wife makes pineapples and brings it to me. <laughs> oh! I don't know if I should eat while reviewing a beer that I haven't drinking yet. <clears throat> All right, what's up, guys? Today I have another Oklahoma uh, local Oklahoma beer from actually Stillwater, the little town of Stillwater, Oklahoma, which is where Oklahoma State University is, OSU. This is Iron Monk Breweries, uh, their milk stout. So Iron Monk milk stout. I've had this before and I don't remember being particularly impressed. I also remember it being like really, really, really super carbonated. Like I poured it, I didn't even pour it. I know I pour harsh all the time, but I don't think I poured it that harsh and it was just like pfft, and it spilled everywhere. I'm pretty sure it was a big glass, uh, big mug too. All right, let's see. Yeah, you can hear it in there. I like the cap uh, because it's got the Oklahoma State on it. I wasn't always a big Oklahoma fan. I'm from Houston uh, and I still think that Houston is way better than Oklahoma City. No offense, but Oklahoma City is starting to grow on me. All the cool bars and all the cool breweries and r really cool stores and restaurants. Okay, look at that. See, barely pouring it and it's like, like a volcano. So, um, yeah, I remembered it doing that and it's doing that again. But the head looks like it's just kind of going away. So I remember this one being fairly carbonated for a stout, pretty light really really drinkable a little bit sweet i can smell the coffee already mm. and you can really smell the lactose sugar hello hello you can so it's got this like super cokey dr pepper look to it i don't know if you guys can see that from this angle but watch like like a carbonated soda let's get the rest of this in there so the look of it, it's just so bizarre to me. I'm not expecting, like you can really, really, really smell the milk sugars in this. You can really smell the chocolate and the coffee. Floral roasted malts too. Well, I'm, um, it's a milk stout. I know what it's supposed to taste like. I'm interested though to know what the mouth feels like because it just looks like it's gonna be like a really burny soda. Cheers. Okay, really high carbonation, like super high. Whoa, it's a little much. Nice bitter chocolate though, right on the front. Coffee right in the middle, a little bit of sweetness. Really, really thin and carbonated though. It's almost like a carbonated cold brew, a little bit sweeter than that. Like a, like a, like a, you know how you can get like the iced coffees? So it's like a carbonated iced coffee chocolate flavor. You know how you do like vanilla or caramel. So a chocolate uh, carbonated iced coffee. Yeah, uh, thanks Stephen Bush for this for this bottle. I appreciate it. So now it's kind of got this sunflower shell aftertaste. Like I've been eating a lot of sunflowers, just the plain ones, and then I've got that shell taste in my mouth, like the nutty, shelly, you know what I mean. A little bit more carbonated than I would have wanted, but the sweetness in the chocolate is really good. But man, do I, it really bloats me and I feel like I have to burp. <laughs> uh, by the way, 6% alcohol, a little bit of lingering bitterness, super carbonated. Okay, so month of stouts is almost over. I've got one beer left, maybe two, but probably one. And I've saved the best, most anticipated stout for last. So that'll be the next episode out. Like I said, maybe one, maybe two, but probably one. So stay tuned for that. Peace out, guys. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm Patrick, and I'm making it green. See ya. Real quick, shout out to Gerald. You know who you are. You gotta have fans like that in this world. This one goes out to you, Gerald. Peace.